And welcome back to the week of who would win. Uh, this first one isn't even the one I had listed. This comes to us from Lucas Rivera, whose cousin asked to win a fight. Captain Falcon or A-Train from the boys. I'm going to assume based on your word of that, that your cousin watches the channel. So it's I'm perfectly okay with doing the what if or the, the who would win. Uh, but yeah, don't... Uh, not again. I'm saying it's the way you word it. Sounds like your cousin watches the channel, so it's all good. I, I always, it always just kind of irks me sometimes that people say, "Hey, my, it's my mother's birthday. Could you do this video?" I'm like, "Dude, do you really?" I'm not saying your mother doesn't watch me, but are you really expecting me to believe that? Uh, I'm just saying I'm not just gonna be like, "Well, it's this birthday. Could you do this?" Is it your birthday? Well, no. That well, unless the person watches the channel, that's not happening. But you did sound like that was the case, so don't worry. Uh, Captain Falcon versus A Train. There have been multiple Captain Falcons, but hypothetically, each succession of uh, Falcon, each Falcon that comes after the next, should be stronger than all the previous Falcons. Kind of like uh, all for uh, one for all in uh, My Hero. In that in that sense, the next holder of one for all is always stronger than the previous and all the ones that came before. Uh, but A Train, A Train is obviously one of the heroes of Vought. He was one of the original members of the Seven as well. In essence, their version of the Flash. Uh, as such, his claim to fame is his super speed. As speedsters go, though, he's slow. <laughs> he's actually really freaking slow as speedsters go. Um, let me let me let me be very clear on that too. It's uh, calculated he can run up to 762 miles. When he's enhanced by an extra thing of Compound V, he was able to dodge Starlight's uh, bolts of light plasma. It's not really known if she's firing actual light or plasma, because if she's firing light, then he's moving at relativistic light speeds. If she's firing plasma, well, it just kind of goes to his level of speed he already has. But he's still fast enough to move uh, at 762 miles an hour, maybe even faster, depending on circumstances. Blow someone apart by just running through them. Um, he's capable of that heightened sensory perception of the world where he sees things in slow motion and uh, is able to kind of react accordingly. But he's not a warrior. He's not a fighter. In fact, m almost none of the members of the Seven are. Noir and Maeve were the two um, most fight uh, warrior... Let's call it warrior... Warrior capable. They were the most combat proficient of the seven. And he had Soldier Boy, who was also a soldier. He wasn't part of the seven, but that's the point. Homelander, by, for all his power, is not a fighter. Uh, he's a bully who just abuses his powers, really. Um, so, with Captain Falcon, Captain Falcon goes around fighting, you know, evil, crime, whatever. Uh, Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. Uh, pa Captain Falcon is pretty powerful for all intents and purposes. He's now an intergalactic bat racer and bounty hunter. Uh, it all depends on which version, obviously, of the Fal of uh, Falcon you're talking about. The most recent one, from what I can tell here, is F-Zero... F-Zero GP Legend? I think that's the most recent one. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, but all the Falcons are, ca are capable pilots. They're the Falcon ship. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but, um, uh, super power, power, no. Uh, but the yeah, ship is extremely fact, capable of moving well beyond, like, the speed of light and stuff like that because it is a ship that travels through space when he needs it to travel through space. Uh, he is a, Captain Falcon is a very capable fighter, hand to hand fighter. Uh, he has his own kind of style of martial arts for what it is, for what it's worth. Um, it, there's nothing it's like it's there's nothing specific i think that really matches it but he's a capable hand in hand fighter by all stretch of the mean by all means um nothing really uh no, no one could really beat him in his role in straight hand in hand combat he's very experienced as all the experiences of the falcons are kind of passed down to each other uh, and obviously he's famous for the falcon punch which is in essence a type of pyrokinesis uh, Captain Falcon is capable of just randomly, for whatever reason, um, by setting his setting parts of his body uh, on fire for whatever reason. Um, how that works, who knows? 
But he's also got not just the Falcon Punch, but the, sorry, not just the Falcon Punch, but the Falcon Kick. Dashing forward with a fire to mute kick, launching foes. You can also perform his attack rapidly or add or add in electric uh, electricity if he needs to. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's very interesting. Apparently, yeah, you can also infuse his punch with lightning too. I didn't know about the lightning ability. That must be relatively recent, at least within his continuity. The Falcon... One second. Again, adds the Falcon Dive, ironically named, uh, comes from his. Co uh, co uh, if he comes into brief contact with anyone, he grapples with them before generating explosions to launch them downward with stylish launching Captain further, uh, Falcon further skyward. Uh, so essentially, think like a Peregrine Falcon, which is known for dive bombing. Mean, that's kind of what he's doing with boosting his pyrokine with his pyrokinesis. Raptor boost. He rushes forward and performs a fire to uppercut to his opponent. An alternative uh, to his attack takes uh, all, sorry, an alternative to this attack takes more time, but does make him uh, but doesn't make him flinch at most. What? Raptor boost. Fal Captain Falcon rushes forward and performs a fired and mute uppercut onto his opponent. An alternative to this attack takes more time, but doesn't make him flinch at most uh, as at most attacks. I'm thinking it means as most so most some attacks make him flinch. Uh, the gentleman, a three hit punch uh, punch. Knee combo, uh, sorry, three hit punch, punch, knee combo, followed by blinding fast series of uh, punches and fishing with a final blow that launches the enemy. Knee of justice, a lightning infused knee smash with that deals devastating power. Heel of shame raises his heel, knocks it down on the ground at rapid speed. This technique is best used for knocking someone off a ledge. He also has his flight suit, uh, which protects him from physical trauma, extreme G's, and fire and heat. Blaster pistol of gun that fires lasers, rarely uses this but because he prefers mainly his fists over guns. The Super Falcon, uh, Bart, uh, Bart's enhanced form of Blue Falcon, which can ignore gravity by practically levitating, but also fires lasers and spins around in a white aura capable of ramming through it, their vehicles and thick metal walls. And Champion's Belt, a belt in the fuse of the spirits of the creator, three spectral beings, universal forces that make up the entire universe. That is debatable, though. Um, so Captain Falcon is a pretty powerful dude. Now, the biggest question here, because strength and speed wise, strength and durability wise, there is no con there's no contest. Falcon's got the edge on on um, A Train. The question simply is speed. Is A Train faster than the Fal uh, Captain Falcon, and therefore could he theoretically just blitz them all that? Well, I do have some speed feats here. He's outrun the exploding fa uh, facility in the, his Blue Falcon. Well, that doesn't really mean much. It's at 762 miles an hour, A-Train could do that, too. He dodges laser fire. Okay, that's better. Blitz three death bots in 0 0.20 seconds. Okay, that's now putting him way better. The Blue Falcon, which is his uh, vehicle, can exceed speeds faster than the speed of sound, which really is faster than A-Train by a lot. Superior to Samurai Gora, who reacted to a fired missile, blitzed through multiple robots. Superior to Rick Wheeler, who dodged a meteor calculated to be around Mach 33. Now, it's saying superior to Rick Wheeler. Is that the Blue Falcon superiority, or is that his superiority? And the Blue Falcon can keep up Black Shadow's Black Bull, which outraced an explosion caused by a reactor. By okay, so it's a little unclear what all whose speed feeds these all are is this the blue falcon speed feed which that's the vehicle that makes sense it could be faster than a train or and what is falcon himself's uh speed feeds from what i'm reading here dodging laser fire that's a speed feed on his own blitzing three death bots in 0 0.2 seconds that's a speed on his a feet on his own um Superior to the Samurai Goron, who reacted to a fire missile at speed on zone, blitzed through multiple robots. Superior to the it's the Rick Re, it's the Rick Wheeler one that I'm wondering if that's talking about the Blue Falcon. My my guess is no, because uh, the Blue Falcon is listed in the Blue Falcon speed feats, not with his speed feats, which means he can theoretically, uh, so he's faster. And can then Mach 3 in terms of dodging capability. He can also blitz individuals at 0 0.2 seconds. Uh, so that probably at least puts him well relativistically in a relativistic level with a train, if not faster overall by a long with the Mach 33. Yeah, that by all accounts is way faster than a train, and that's reaction timing, which means Falcon at least on reaction time is at least relative, if not superior to A-Train in terms of speed. 
which means that's all Captain Falcon would really need to win the fight, is be able to tag A-Train just once. If he tags him just once, it's over, because all he's got to do is Falcon Punch, and realistically, he's going to just destroy A-Train. It's particularly because it's going to be his punch versus A-Train's momentum, and they're going to collide, and it's going to be a splatter of singed blood and body parts. But the question is then, when is he going to uh, land A-Train? Maybe sees Captain Falcon getting all this glory, because the, all of the people on the Seven are kind of terrible in their own ways. Not even kind of. They are all terrible. I think the most human, per except for Starlight. Starlight was the one exception to that role, because she was innocent going in. Uh, but you had um, the I, the Invisible Man character. I don't remember what his name was. Uh, but you had the Deep, who got off a whole blender as the poster boy for Terrible. Noir does have good qualities, but Noir's got, got a lot of baggage there. Maeve also turns out to not be a complete prick, but still not a good person. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and Stormfront is just an abomination against, against God. So, uh, screw that. She's a Nazi, to kind of... Uh, Paraphrase, oh, it's sunny. Um, so, yeah, I think A-Train would, would definitely tag Homelander, uh, Homelander, uh, Falcon once or twice. Falcon's like, what the hell? It's like, that's enough. It's like, how the hell did he catch me? He's like, that's enough. Why the hell are you attacking me? He's like, he, he, look, man, I don't want any trouble. You're in my way, and you're, you're going to made a stardom, and way to fame, and way to top. I'm going to stop you no matter what. And he just kind of rushes and goes back again, except Falcons can catch him this time. It's like, Falcon, punch! <laughs> and he just pops. I'm like, oh, well. Uh, goodbye, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, in theory, could have gone in the speed round video, but it was, I wasn't sure about that, because I had to double-check on how fast Captain Falcon was. That's why I don't think it, uh, that's why I think it would have been at least, that's why I think it's okay to have me give it its own video. Uh, but really, that's, it's still a short fight. A-Train would probably get clapped by Falcon pretty hard. Because, again, Falcon, durability-wise, has survived being thrown into the dark space. He goes to stand the backlash force of his own Falcon without getting injured. Uh, his own Falcon punch, sorry. Should be comparable to Beastman who survived falling off a building, survived a rocket explosion, took hits from Blood Falcon, survived getting slashed by a laser sword, compared to the Black Shadow who stood an energy output of the reactor might when overpowering it and has had enough power to cause a space station to explode and has, can survive an explosion massively enough to be seen from the outside of the Milky Way galaxy. A-Train, by all accounts, more durable than the average man, is still squishy. He couldn't even survive a building. He couldn't even survive a car falling on top of him. Uh, if it just landed straight on. Whereas Captain Falcon would be like, poof, ow, poof, moving on. Whereas a would be like, ha, poof. Mood. Can we find our speedster? Speedster, anyone? Anyway? Uh, so, yeah. Captain Falcon's going to take that win. But let me know if you think differently. And if you do, that's cool. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks next time.